What would you say your biggest struggle or obstacle you ever had to overcome? Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat Like, I was with Nikki. We broke up. So her fans and certain people, they just wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together no more. him. Let him be nothing. Let him disintegrate. Let him disappear. Whatever. But nine, ten years later, ten, ten, fifteen TV shows later, a lot of music out later, doors up later, cribs like I'm still here. And you know, some people don't like that. They're like, damn, why still paying attention to this? When me and Nikki first broke up, and she got with Meek, and they were like the biggest in the world, and we was all beefing it. You got to think about. I had two of the biggest people in the world like against me, so that made everybody be against me right the whole and industry yeah so it was like nobody wanted to be next to me nobody wanted to like work with me or none of that so it just made everything hard and i was like that shit was like that was that was a dark time for me you know what i'm saying that's like that really affected you do you wish like you had a kept your relationship with nikki a secret even nobody knew until after the fact you know what i'm saying right yeah. there were rules like you guys you you couldn't like kiss in person or like show affection. Hell no, that wasn't even a thought. Kanye West once shared that he asked you if Nicki Minaj would be interested in a threesome, <laughs> and that that's true. He asked you that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's but he true. didn't know y'all was together. Apparently, nah, he didn't know. It was funny. Um, so what was your response to Kanye West when he said that? Nah, so he was with Amber. We was in Hawaii, and we playing basketball and. This guy is like, like on some homeboy shit with me. Right. So what was your response to him? I just was like, I don't know, bro. You, I don't know, you just got to see what's up. He down with the mission. A lot of your fans know you from Love & Hip Hop. Like, what was the Love & Hip Hop experience like? I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, right now, like, I'm not even, like, I, I walked away. They filming. I'm not even, I didn't even sign back on. Wow. I would have did it again, but... These lawyers and everybody, they be wanting to have all these exclusivity rights. And it's like, you can't have me tied down and say, okay, only here. You can't do anything else. And you, you got to pay me to sit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know what it is with Love & Hip Hop? I, I just, I don't like that. There's people who watch it, they really like, feel like they know me and that's me. Right. They be serious. It's like, yo, like I be places and people see me and they be like, they get mad at you. Behave yourself. Stop. What? Get the hell out of my face, lady. That's crazy. Like, these people be really, like, holding on to shit that they see, and I'm like, yo, um... I, I remember when shit. I first started in New York, I couldn't believe it. Oh, my... Yo, this is when Big Fish took over the whole Love & Hip Hop franchise. When we, you know, the green screen where we stand and talk, they had a sentence. They, I forgot what it was that I said, and I was like, yo, I didn't say that. So it was like, they, mm -hmm. they took oh. things from other, like, Times I said it, wow! And like put it in the whole thing. That's crazy. They don't do that anymore though. Yeah. Because when that happened, we was all like, "Oh hell no!" We're like, "Yo, listen, you edit it, whatever, but don't, right? Don't put words in our mouth. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I, I can't even front on like the amount of doors that it opened up for me and opportunities and like the extra eyes. Like at first, I really like was not trying to do it, and then um when I got on and I kind of felt like I took it over. Right. It just, that shit helped a lot. Right. I, I was on Hollywood, then I went to New York, back to Hollywood, then Atlanta, and then Miami. We in Miami, we in Miami, we in Miami, we in Miami, we in Miami. Yeah, 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 what it do, it's your boy Stun Lifestyle, and you are watching the We in Miami <laughs> podcast. And today is a very, very special day, man. We have with us the multi-talented rapper, reality star, and entrepreneur, my boy Safari. Yeah. Round of applause for Safari. Welcome to the show, man. How you feeling? I'm good, man. I can't complain. Another year around the sun. Like and it's your birthday. Yeah. I'm hey, here. happy I'm, birthday, I'm, man. You know what I'm saying? Actually, hold on. We got a little su birthday surprise. Can we bring a birthday surprise for y'all? Front, y'all didn't give me nothing. We got you a little something <laughs> over here. Hey, hey, got your face on it. <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> I remember you, you did Thank another you. music video where they smashed you with a cake. How was that? Oh that shoot? yeah, that was yeah. um, that's hot birthday. Hot birthday. Mm -hmm. That joint was hard. Yeah. Yes, yes, man. And but before we get into it, I gotta ask y'all, where we at? 
Miami. We in Miami. We in Miami. I know you got the new record, man. New single. Yeah, she ready. She ready. I'm ready. You ready? We ready. What's the, well, hold on, before we get into it, what's the inspiration behind this record? Fun. Good energy. Yeah, yeah, she ready. What is she ready for? She ready. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> she ready for every and anything. Like okay. she ready for whatever. Like y'all ready to? What are you ready for? Ready to party. <laughs> ready to party. Is that what you talking right. about? You ready, ready to party? Ready to party. Ready to have fun. Okay. Ready to go to work. Okay. Ready to. Okay. Ready to get not bag. depend on no man and get your own back. Thank you. Right. Yeah, get to it. I vibe with yeah. that. Round of applause. She later, ready. Man. I vibe with that. She ready for all that. Can we play a snippet of the record? Yeah, drop it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yes, hey. them was some. Hey. This hey. one can't done. Hey. All I see is me. Never the pre window abandon. Stop, drop and roll. I make her see the upside hey. of her soul. Yeah. That girl yeah. better hold her breath if she a wave your sailor run. Copy the command done. Fly go a yard in a one year. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I want to hey. see. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, where her waist at? Whoa, 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 she ready. She ready. She ready. Hey. Oh, oh, she oh. Oh. Round of applause for Safari. Yo, that joint hard right there. That's from the clubs. That was that was very nice. Thank you. <laughs> She's ready. I'm ready. Ready. What you ready for? I'm ready to party. Oh, she said she's ready to party. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, um, I just want to say to everybody who's like watching this. This is the definition of a podcast. Like yeah. the production behind this shit. I wish y'all could see what I'm looking at. Yeah, I appreciate it. There'd be man. some people, they be saying, Yeah, a podcast. Hey, Safari, come to my podcast. Well, I'm like, nah. Yo, this I want blood clot setup. Hey man, I appreciate that. You that look love like right there. That you look like you, you look like you put some money into this. And mm -hmm. you know, I don't I don't do cheap shit. Right. So yeah. Boss I'm, shit I'm, only. I'm, in, I'm in the right yeah, stunt <laughs> shit. I'm in the right spot. Right. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate that. And it means so much for you to come on the show, man. I've been wanting to get it. In fact, I gave you a street interview way back in the day. I think it was like about two years ago. That was uh when we were shooting um Hot Girl Birthday. You remember that? Yeah, we was at Circle House. And one of the questions I asked you was funny. I asked you, is it true that Jamaican men don't go down on women. Because there's a theory that Jamaican men don't go down on women is frowned upon. Can you just clarify that for once and for all? Is that really true? So I would have to say that that is a old myth. And, um, you know, back in the day, you, it used to be something where, like, it, Puff up their chest, yo, me nah, bro, yo, me nah, do this, me nah, do that. Any Jamaicans in the back? Yeah, there's a lot of Jamaicans. <laughs> Look, there's about 20 Jamaicans behind these cameras. And, um, man, these be eating. <laughs> <laughs> and, and speaking of all this so far, you know, your nude situation, man, had went viral. That was that was such a hard time for me, you know, like <laughs> I just felt like I was an object and a piece of meat. Oh, so you felt like a woman for a second. You, you know, like <laughs> you got to finally see what they go through. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was a rough time in my life. And um So wait, who leaked like Right. All right, I'm going to keep it all the way a buck with you. I was talking to somebody on Snapchat, and they catfished me. I thought it was a real person, and mm. low-key. So Shorty asked for the pics, and then you... Yo, know. my G. Damn. I got caught. Damn. I, like, I got caught, caught. As a guy, though, like, I feel like it's kind of a flex. Yeah, like, did that change? <laughs> like, when that nah, came out? Cause I, I remember it went viral, and all the girls was, like, posting about it and commenting. And, like, what, what? Did that change shit? Like, did your, like... This game go Man. up like girls hit you like crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That shit made me so much money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yo, that's what I was like, yo, people were booking me to like, yo, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Damn. Sunday, like wow. for months. Crazy. And you know, there's a lot of people hollering too. But you know, um, I just I'm picky. Right. So I can't just be dibbling and dabbling in everything that comes my way. I'm not like that. Has anyone ever offered you money for sex? Hell yeah. There's this this old this older like white lady. I forgot what country she's in, but it's not in America. They be loving brothers too, man. Yo, she's on it. But she kinda she kinda lowballing. I think she's only she was like, Oh, I'll give you twenty five thousand. Twenty five bands, that's a lowball? That's wait, a bag wait, right wait, there. Wait, what's your rate? What's her number? <laughs> <laughs> right, like what's she bad? Like how I got her. How old was she dang? Like, what you mean? Like, oh old or like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. 
I, if I don't know you and you, you know what I'm saying? At 25, like, I need a. Has a celebrity girl ever <laughs> offered you money? A celebrity girl? Yeah. Nah, all they got to do is say, what's up? Because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Before we get deep into it, raise your hand if you're single. I need to see something here just so we'll know. Hello. Okay, so everybody. <laughs> Sadly. So you, you all the way single. You outside? I'm single, but, like, I'm single and, like, just getting my shit right. Right. Like, like last year, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to lock down and just really, like, focus on, like, important shit. And, you know, 24 it started to pay off. Right. And I don't know why, but I could really see you doing a dating show. Couldn't y'all see Safari doing a dating show, like, yeah. Or the love of safari or it's, something. It's, it's called going on a safari. <laughs> oh, I so that is the dating show. Yeah. Oh wow! It airs. The first episode airs July seventeenth on the um, Tronics Network. Shout wow. out, shout out my brother Ray J. Round of applause for that man. New reality show. So we shot it. You know you're gonna see how it played out, but. I feel like the sky's the limit as far as where that's about to go once it drops in. So how many women are competing for your love on the show? It was about 15. Ooh, that's crazy. I can't wait to see that. 15, we was in a house together. And this is on the Ray J's new network, Tronics. Yeah, it's on the Tronics network. Mm. Believe that. Now, and speaking of Tronics network, it just went viral. Ray J got into a fight with Lemmy at the um, BET Awards. Like, what is the beef between Ray J and Lemmy? Like, what is that all about? Yo. I don't know, but I definitely spoke to Ray this morning. <laughs> I called him. He was, he was turned. It was like, he ain't sleep. Right. Dang. And he just kept saying before that, he just kept saying, yo, I know I'm going to run into him this weekend. Yeah, because, you know, Ray J, he been beefing. Because I remember at the beginning of but Zeus, they he were, was on there. Exact, they were together. It's like their thing was, I don't know what it was. Honestly, They were partners, right? Yeah, it was something like that. Like, remember, like, everything that we started watching was, the conversation. Right. He was a girl. He was a girl, wasn't he? Nah, I doubt it. I don't think it was over nah. no girl. I think this was over some nah, money because he seemed mad, show. mad. Oh, okay, yeah, like. Okay, okay. So, Safari, we play this game on the show mm -hmm. where we ask our special guest to FaceTime one celebrity that they think will pick up. Okay. Let's see if they pick up this blood clot, yeah. Uh oh, who is he calling? <laughs> What up? Yo, look, I'm doing this podcast and I had to FaceTime a celebrity to see if they would pick up. Look. Turn around. Hey, Ray J. What up, gang? What up, big Ray J? Where is it daytime? Where he's at? Where he at? Put it up to Probably the mic. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, Ray J. Hey, what up, gang? What up, my nigga? We in Miami. <laughs> I ain't got my glasses on, but I can, I know I see something pretty. Hey, hey, we gotta we gotta get you on the show, man, on We in Miami podcast. For sure, anytime. You know, me and Safari got the new show coming out. Plus, he one of my new producing partners and one of my new partners on the network. So, like, yeah, we've been talking show. about the new show. Let's go on a Safari dating show. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, it's really an adventure. It's not a dating show. It's like the beginning of an adventure for all of us okay. to have yeah. fun, meet, creep. And maybe I was gonna say skeet, but I'm gonna say that. <laughs> right. Um, hey. Have a great time. Hey Ray, before you get out of here, let me ask you, man, why you swing on Lemmy, man? Why you swing on Lemmy? <laughs> swing, I connected, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you driving? What you riding? Hey, you got a top down. <laughs> what is that? I'm a modest guy. I know that shit I'm in a regular. I'm in a jeep. But it's a 448. You know what I'm saying? I got a 448 in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, big, hey. big Raycon in the headrest. <laughs> he got a body in the back. What is that? All right. <laughs> hey, hey, Safari, hit me later. You in the Lambo? Yeah, doors up all the time, <laughs> nigga. You know what's up. Man, they thought we was playing. Come on, they, they thought we was playing. When we launched the show on the 17th, we're going to come pull up on y'all. Hey, we in Miami. Let's get it. Let's go. You my nigga. All day, ready to go. Big Tron ring coming but, soon. But, but. All right, round of applause, round of applause, Safari and Ray J. 
That's what's up, man. That's lit. Now, how long you and Ray J been working together? Y'all been friends for a minute, right? Let me see. When I got on Love and Hip Hop, I got on, nah, before Love and Hip Hop, because I'm mm, probably like 12, 13 years. Yo, time be flying. Damn, it do. <laughs> And you know, a lot of your fans know you from Love and Hip Hop. Like, what was the Love and Hip Hop experience like? Honestly, I, I can't even front on like the amount of doors that it opened up for me and opportunities and like the extra eyes. Like at first, I really like was not trying to do it. And then um when I got on and I kind of felt like I took it over. Right. It just that shit helped a lot. Right. I, was, I was on Hollywood, then I went to New York, back to Hollywood, then Atlanta, and then Miami. I ain't gonna lie to you, like right now, like sh I'm not even like I, I walked away. They they filming. I'm not. Even, I didn't even sign back on. Wow. I would have did it again, but these lawyers and everybody they be wanting to have all these exclusivity rights, and it's like you can't have me tied down and say okay. Only here, you can't do anything else, and you you gotta pay me to sit. Right, you know what I'm saying. So, so can you take us back a little bit? Like I know everyone knows Safari man. He's been going viral, been crazy, making legendary moves for years. But take us back, man. Like, how did you first get into the entertainment industry? Because I know there's so many people watching that want to get into and do mm -hmm. what you're doing. How you start? Like you started writing first or rapping nah, first? Nah, the the, uh, the the beginning was this rap group I was in called the Hood Stars. Mm -hmm. It was um this when I was in Brooklyn. That was me, Nikki, uh, this dude named Seven Up, and um this dude named and this other dude named Lou Star. It was the four of us. And oh, so it was almost like what was the other rap group from New York that had a female and two guys? They had that song. What would you do if your son's at home? I know you're talking about. City High, yeah, I remember them. They used to be lit. So yeah, but so it was of... it was three dudes and one girl. We were like, remember the, making the band, right? Yeah, with Dylon, right? Yeah, I was doing reggae and the rest of them was rapping. Wow. So it was like so that it was like kind some of vibe. Fuji's kind of vibe. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Shout out to White Clef. I know White Clef too. Stop I say. Stop I say. <laughs> so, so it was you, Nicki Minaj, and then you had two other guys. Mm hmm. I can't see you as a group, man. You just look like a solo artist. You know? Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> now I look like that. But Back before it was like, you know, it was the four of us. And we was like, yeah, we're going to make this happen. We're going to make it work. And then um, it didn't work. <laughs> so Nikki broke off and went solo and you went solo or what happened? Nah, yeah. Like she went to the solo thing. Um, I was her hype man and just road dog. And we was just like, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, the group shit the group ain't shit so so how long after that did she like blow up like after you left the group was it like i say nah it was probably like a couple years couple like years like four or five years after and speaking of Nicki minaj can you tell us what your current relationship with Nicki minaj is there is none i mean we haven't spoke what is it? about to be 10 years and you're talking 10 years yeah Time do go by. That's what I'm saying. Now, I know, I know you had posted something. You said you were definitely going to Gag City concert in full disguise. <laughs> and y'all will not even notice me, and I will yeah, enjoy the show. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm going to document it to drop a video out there. And you were referring to Nicki Minaj's tour, and you were going to go into the skies. Is that true? Like, Look, I'm... Because I'm, there I'm, are rumors that your account was hacked. Was that you that wrote No, no. Nah, nah, I, I did write. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Sometimes I'll just be <laughs> sitting there, and I'll just be thinking about something. I'll be like, damn, you know what? I'm bored. Right. I would go to do, I would I would go to do this. You know what I'm saying? Right. But no, nobody would have knew it was me. I'd have had thirty niggas with me. We'd have been in the back in the corner. That would have been wild. Surprise, and then you do like a video selfie and surprise everybody. <laughs> yeah. Post it after I left. How do you think she would feel about that? Like if she saw you there at the concert, you think she would like that? Would cool Hell no. It? What? Nigga, get out. What? It would be like that. Yeah. Damn. Get out. Dang. Yeah. Ignore my question. I was gonna say if you DM'd her right now. Would she answer? Doesn't sound like well, it. First I of, guess. Well, first of all, I wouldn't DM her. I'm, no, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, nah, that's like, you know, you know when shit is just done and it's like, all right, cool, that's Damn. it. All right, so let's back back. All right, so you were in the group solo. You were working with her. Now, because a lot of people didn't know at first that you guys were together. Uh, I remember 
Kanye West once shared that he asked you if Nicki Minaj would be interested in a threesome. <laughs> and that, that's true? He asked you that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West crazy. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that's but he true. didn't know y'all was together. Apparently, nah, he didn't know. It was funny. Um, so, what was your response to Kanye West when he said that? Nah, so that's when it was. He was with Amber. We was in Hawaii, and niggas was working on Monster, and we playing basketball. And this guy is like, like on some homeboy shit with me. Right, and I'm like, what is Kanye like in real I'm life? Like, like, I always is he like he be on some chill shit or what he be on like? Yo, Cause he just almost don't seem like a human, like on camera. Nah, like, let me tell you, the way he be, smile and then he just turns like. Yeah, he 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 does that in real life, but being around him, it's like it's just. Yo, he'll just introduce you to shit that you just don't know that's possible. Like I remember we was in the studio, and this nigga looked around and he just was like, "Man, we need some shit." And he's like, "All right, we need a big ass TV. We need a smoke machine and some lasers." Yo, <laughs> within an hour, big TVs weren't even out yet. That it was, was like a, yo, this was like, tw- whenever Monster came out, some big ass TV got delivered. The dude mounts it up. Then they got a smoke machine and lasers. And I'm like, damn, That's this is ins- like, yo, that shit was inspiring. That's wow. So now like, I like to do shit like that. So what was your response to him? Oh, what? When he asked me that, I just was like... Shit, I don't know, bro. You, I don't know, you just gotta see what's up. Would you be open to doing a train with Kanye? Not with you know them, but like <laughs> like with a new girl. Would you be open to that? Like if he was single and oh hell, hold on, no. doing a train with who? Like let's say a random girl that y'all select. Like would you be cool with like running a nah, train with Kanye? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on some homie shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, like if no. nah, I I rather like two girls like and me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, so you never like ran a train? On the girl yeah, you, the, I, tr- the train. Like, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, I rode the number two train. Like, you know, flat, but, <laughs> but I've never, I never been like the big train guy. Like, that's what I'm gonna say. Stop the cap. Y'all, all of y'all, y'all look like tongue gods. What well, that mean? You see here. <laughs> What's a tongue guy? Yeah, what's a tongue guy? You mean like eating ass or? No, no. Oh, I like tongue guy. A throat go? Like, yes. <laughs> really? Tongue go- a, a tongue god <laughs> is um, a Jamaican term That's for- That's what it could. Why y'all laughing? You know, somebody who <laughs> just uses their tongue a lot during- Like hit. Yeah. Everything. Oh, okay, like, okay. Yeah. A, a tongue god. Yeah. But what you, what you, what you little girl like go eat your groceries? <gasps> you what? <laughs> Which, like ca- which camera looks at me? Right, right there. The middle right one there. or the left one? The left one, right there. <laughs> oh shit! It's taking too long to answer. I know, right? That is my answer. What the oh, hell? Oh shit! Okay. That means hell yeah, turn it's up. Giving. Okay, yeah. bet. Respect, respect, respect. It's not like it's a girl doing it. That, let me tell you what I don't be understanding with certain explain, things explain when I hear them. people them talk about game. shit. They be like, "Oh, so you, 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 you wouldn't let a girl do." Or, oh, you let a girl do this? And it's like, well, it's a girl. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's, okay. it's it's your mouth. It's different if she's like, oh, hey, babe, come here. Rah, 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 right, right. Like, <laughs> like, like, you know right, what I'm right. saying? <laughs> it, it depends on the level of the hygiene with the dude, too. You know what I'm saying? I know with me, yeah. like, <laughs> you, bro, I'm like so clean, so OCD. Like, uh, uh, you get around me, you're going to be like, damn, this guy's psycho. Right. From the way I keep my house, myself, the way I groom myself, like, yo, you go, you're going to want to stay there for a while. Right. Okay. Did, did any of your celebrity exes go down on you? I, right, yo, oh, oh my God. God. Hell no. Nah, nah, nah. None? You don't got to say no names, but. Nah, nah, nah. I just was talking about like a, the level of throat. Like, the f- wow. You ever had something that's so crazy you want other people to experience it? Like you wish they could feel that for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever had a girl try to like do some freaky shit and you was like nah that's too much yeah <laughs> yeah oh, like God. what she had like this little like vibrator thing I wouldn't call it a plug but it was like a vibrator thing and what damn. she want to do with that yo I could tell she was trying to take it and put it somewhere and I just was oh, like okay. oh so she was trying to put it in your like a plug yeah, I was, yeah take take yeah. it easy bucko yeah 
Gotta be Pump like, your whoa, brakes. Whoa, what you doing? What you doing? Pump your brakes, <laughs> bucko. <laughs> where the buck stops. <laughs> Recently, I ran into Safari at a fashion show, mm. and at the end of the show, he was outside waiting on his car to pull up, and like all these fans were going crazy and stuff like that. Do you have any crazy fan stories? I think one of my craziest ones, there was this one girl. Yo, every booking, no matter where I was, no matter the state, she was there. She and was I there. was like, yo, insane, right? So She showed up in city to city. Yes, no matter That's... where. I just was like, damn. At first, I'm like, yo, this is lit. I'm like, yo, shit. Like, I fuck with it, whatever. Anytime she came, I started letting her be in my section and shit like that. Right. So then- was she bad? She look good. Uh, she 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 wasn't my type, oh. but you know I I appreciated her for. She was a super fan. You were like, let me go ahead, let her turn up with me one yeah, time. Yeah. So one time it was what was it Niagara Falls? That's near Toronto. One of them joints. I was over there, and um, so I'm in my room, and it was like, but the room it was like a two floor and like a suite, so. I was being cheap. I had my security just stay in like another room in the same room or whatever. Right. So I'm hearing a knock after my event. It was like 3.34 in the morning and it was her at the door. And I was Surprise, like- Surprise, motherfucker. She showed up at the door? <laughs> at she my, found out what at, room you was at. I would, ne first of all- They be finding out, bro. First of all, I didn't tell her the hotel I was at. What? I didn't tell her the room or nothing. So- Tell the truth. I, hit, I, hit, I hear the knock. <laughs> Listen, I hear the knock. And um, my security, this nigga ain't get up. He's knocked out. So I go, watch? I look, and then- Wait, are we talking about my man in the back right here? I'm about to say, who is it that? wasn't It wasn't him. Oh, okay, okay. It wasn't him. <laughs> but <laughs> so boom, 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 she's knocking. I look through, and when I see it's her, like my face and everything sank, and she had like a robe on. No, it's like on the movies. That's yeah. crazy. Wow. And um, she so, opened it and was like- No, so I, op I opened the door- and then I was like, yo, you good? She was like, I'm not good. She was like, please let me come in. I was like, chill. Right. I was like, yo, just wait right there. So I was like, yo, hold on a second. So I closed the door. Then I opened the door again with the latch on it, just in case just you try to, case. Yeah, like, Because yeah, you don't barge in. your door. Like, first I opened the regular. So then shit, I did yeah. it with the latch and shit. And I'm talking. I'm like, yo, what happened? And she's looking at me. And the look she had in her eye, it was like a, a, a spirit. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Like, like, a, it like a bad spirit? Right. Like she what she just didn't seem like herself. Oh. Like she was like on demon time? She, like, yeah. she was on Molly. Right. She was like, yeah. yo, I don't know. She I was don't, like on something. Yo, I don't know what it was, but she had on the road. I was like, yo, like, I was like, yo, I appreciate you, but you're taking this too far. And she was <laughs> like, please, please, it's my dream. It's my dream. I was like, what's your dream? <laughs> She takes <laughs> off her robe and then drops it, and then she's just butt ass naked. Damn, she didn't even have all the lingerie. She was all no, the just it. naked under the robe. And then I was like, "Yo, I closed the door. I called the front desk. I was like, "Yo, there's somebody outside my door naked, and they're banging on my door. Boom, boom, boom. And she's not gonna. She's like, "Yo, Safari, open the door. Open the oh, door. Oh, she was still outside of the door. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, um, I gotta know you. Like, right. I'm, I'm at a point in my life now where there needs, there needs to be some type of a, a connection. Right. I'm not just gonna be like, oh shit, you look good. She bad. I wanna hit. Yeah, right. Nah, like that's when you a young nigga. Like, yeah, once you reach exactly. a certain age, you be like, I gotta yeah. connect with you. I don't wanna just have because you bad no more. Nah, because I, it's, a, it's really a transfer of energy. Mm -hmm. I believe that, and you know, a lot of these girls out here, they be having so much like issues and like traumas that. Nah, you ain't transferring that to me. So you believe that, like, if you sleep with someone, that their energy or whatever they got going yo, on will be bounced to yo, you? Yo, I had this boy. He went to, um, what was the place? What was it? Barbados. He went to Barbados. It was Carnival. Ooh, Barbados. He hit this chick out there. When right. he came back, his life was in shambles. No, it ruined him. Just like, every, like, everything was just going bad from... It just was a domino effect. And it's like, yo. Oh, hell no. Go to church. I'm going to get that shit yeah. cleaned all the way. Has that ever happened? Because I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's happened to me. And I'm so protected. Like, bro, I'm so big on, like, God and just I'm close with my pastor. I'm close with my mother. And, like, I just really, like, I got to. That's gotta, what's up, man. Round of applause for I got, yeah, He's man. a mature man. 
Yeah, I could. Yeah. So, but you, but you went through your whole phase. Yeah, I, I went through the whole phase. Raise your hand if you went through your whole phase already and you're done. What or you still that? going through it. What is that? You went through? When you just don't care and you just doing I'm everything. I'm always going to care. I'm Did you have your whole phase yet? Or are you doing it right if now? That means, if that means not caring, then I've never not cared. You know what I mean? Okay, so you you outside. I'm chilling. Okay, bad, bad. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> so, Safari, have you ever paid for sex? <laughs> yeah, that one, what yeah. That <laughs> Everyone's paying for sex. I knew you was gonna say that. <laughs> Yo, these 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 girls like, and I'm not saying everybody. Everyone's not like that. But there's just a lot of these girls out here. It's like you can tell they're just waiting to see what can you do for me. Now? Oh. <laughs> Why you saying like strong <laughs> er? Is that what that old white lady that sugar like? What can you do for me, young man? Yeah, that's like that's... I want to see that. <laughs> like is that what she said? Like <laughs> nah, play a play. Yo, <laughs> nah, like. <laughs> That's how some of them be. Like, no, a lot girl. of these older women be sexualizing us, man. Especially in Miami. But go ahead. Yo, I was talking, yo, <laughs> I was talking to this one girl, right? Never even saw her in person. But we was vibing through like phone and FaceTime and all this other shit, right? And then I just started feeling like she just started like shifting her energy. And then she like kind of wasn't like hitting me back or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. And then I hit her one day. I just was like, yo, what happened? And she was like, Oh, I'm about to go shopping. I'm about to go buy this bag. You want to help me get it? Mm, she came ah, all the way yeah, out with yeah. it. There's a motive. Ah, sweet toxicity. Get, like, bag. <laughs> mm. You get that a lot? Like, and look, <laughs> ladies, Excuse wait a little me? bit before you do that. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Yeah, do I want to help you do what? Go suck your mama. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, some people out here are Bold. They be bold, yeah. Do bold. you get that a lot though? Like girls, you meet a girl and they try to get right to it. Like, yo, yo take I, me shopping, could, give me I could money. Tell, I could tell right away. And one thing with me, I'm not a trick. I'm not stupid. I could see all that shit. Like, yeah. I got when I know you really like like me and rock me, then it's like, all right, cool. Then yeah, it's like I'm right. gentlemen, all that nice, cool extra shit. But if I don't know you, we're getting to know each other and you just expecting all of this high Entitled off the, to high old, off the yeah. wall shit off rip, then right. you're gonna suck your mama. Right. <laughs> I know like with me, bro, I'm the type of person like I'm going I'm going to level you up. All of that small-minded, oh, you got to think big. Get me a bag. Get me this dress. No, you're an idiot. How about I do something to put you in a position to make money? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what Round I do. Applause that. Round applause. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's bro. like would you rather give give someone a fish or teach them how to catch their own yeah. and they're going to win longer. And I tell girls <laughs> so it's like one time for example, I met a girl Safari and you know she was, you know, first conversation like oh I'm stressed out. And so, oh, when she oh, say that I know you're yeah. stressed out. Yeah. Oh, I'm like what's yeah. wrong? She like oh, I got like she was like, oh, she was geez. looking for the low hanging fruit. She was like I got to pay my cell phone bill. It's about to be off. I'm like damn, you just wanted to sell. Ladies, like, ladies, can I ladies can I give y'all a tip? Thank you. Give them a tip. Go ahead. You get more when you act like you don't want it. Duh. Right. Duh. If you're <laughs> sitting there. Like a hungry dog, like, right. like, like you can't wait to, to see what you can get out of a man. Right. Yo, no. Yeah. But when you sit in there and you acting like, oh, I don't care about that stuff. Yeah. Right. Act, Act like, like it's not even care. there. Yeah. And just play it cool. Even mm -hmm. if that's not really it, but you get more when you act like you don't care. But when you sit in there like, okay, when's this going to buy me yeah. something? Would you date a normal girl? Or would Yo. all the girls you date have to be like hold celebrities? Up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> I love normal girls. Me too. Like, that's, that's, yo, like, the okay. normal shit is just. So would you date a girl that got like 500 followers on Instagram? Yo, I'll date a girl who don't got an Instagram. Right. <laughs> I'll be saying or, or that. They, or, or they got it and don't care. But like, yo, right. I don't pay attention to status and all that other you don't shit. Care, like, yeah. I'm into, all right, I like you, you cool, you respect me, and. Like, just that mutual respect is there. That's the most important thing because I've been through some um, wild situations. <laughs> so, would you rather date a normal girl or would you rather date a celebrity girl if you had to choose one? Normal. Mm. I like normal because, I, yo, I like to show people, I like to show people new shit and I like to, like, put people in position to be like, yo, look, if you do this, this is what you'll get from it. You know, like let this curve into your. Don't try to choke on it, huh? and then like. <laughs> Wait, you know, you talking about right, something else, man. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I mean, you have had a lot of celebrity ex girlfriends, though. You know what I'm saying? What What does celebrity mean to you guys? Yeah, I was about to ask that too. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Erica. No, Mia, no, 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 no. I'm not uh, people. Like, I mean, big the, celebrities. The, the title like, you know, I, I don't use the, I don't use the word celebrity. I just use I just say recognizable. Right. You you Af- are you like African? Me? Yeah. No, I'm Thai. I'm black and Thai. Oh, you Thai? Oh, you half Asian. Mm-hmm. Before we get into it, can the ladies we go around the room tell us your name and show us your outfit and give them some music? So my name is Maritza. I'm a medical student and a model influencer. And here's my fit. Let me see your fit. Give us some music. Safari yeah. said he liked that. I love red too. Red's my favorite color. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what about you? Uh, my name's Jessica. I'm a graphic designer, a model, and a professional dancer. You seem all innocent. Like my name's Jessica. <laughs> Stand up, show us the fit. Okay. What's your nationality? I'm Mexican and white. Oh, okay. you are. Oh, I didn't know that. And uh, what about you? I'm V, but I'm Batty V in the building. Batty V, so I don't know. She got the sparkles on, too. Let's we'll see the fit. I'm today. I'd be like you. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> and what about you? Uh, my name is Jessica, but you can just call me Jess. Um, I am a model influencer and personal trainer. Yeah, yeah. Oh what's goodness. your fit? Hold on. Get ready, guys. Get your Vaseline ready. Oh, shit! Where's my Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hey. Because I know the fans want to know, you know, recently you were on Love & Hip Hop and, you know, you had a relationship with Amara, with Negra, you know. Shout out Amara. Me and Amara got a dope single out, Safari 2. That's out. Hey, shout out to her. And um, she had mentioned, she said, I get hired to do my job. And people were saying, was the relationship not real? Like, were you really engaged? Like, what was the situation with that? Amada, you said that? Oh. Shots fired! Shots fired! And she also said, I've been single since the father of my kids, and I haven't had sex since the father of my kids. Cap. Oh. Look. <laughs> is that it, true, though? Like, is, what? It'd be like after the... Spit it out. <laughs> After the what? Right. <laughs> or it's like as soon as you get there, it happen. You, you uh, in the moment. Me and Amada, me and Amada, we good. Okay. Yeah, man. She okay. she got people yeah. very talented too, man. Shout out to Amada. Amada. She, she I gotta she hear good. that single. I can't wait to hear that record. Yeah, yeah. That one's out. We shot the video. That was out. Make but sure. So, y'all... But why did the relationship end though? You ever just meet someone, y'all are really good friends, and then you take it there and you're like, you know what? Backtrack. We better as friends. Right, yeah, I have been there. It's like y'all yeah. click so much, but y'all homies, and it's like y'all smash or not even whatever it might be, and then it'd be weird after that, and you'd be like, let me backtrack. Yeah, like, and you know, it's good when it's to the point where we can say that and then not get ugly and be like, oh, we hate each other, right, and then right. it'd be beef, and then it'd just be a bunch of unnecessary nonsense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's definitely more mature. What percent, like, on these reality shows? I know, I mean, look, this entertainment. Like, what percent do you think is real of reality TV? I I ain't gonna lie to you. When I show up on camera, I turn into a complete different person. <laughs> I'm like, it's there's like Superman. You put on yo, your cape. <laughs> there's there's Safari, the television character. Then there's like me in real life. Like, it's so weird. You'll never be out in the night and see me. You never see me in no club. Or so none you don't be that. outside like that. Not my idea of going out is a nice restaurant. Yeah, facts, facts. I'm I'm gonna pull up to a nice restaurant. We're gonna eat good, have some nice drinks. The doors are gonna go up. You on this grown man? Then we gonna leave. Like what? What would y'all prefer? Y'all young girls. I just like to go out to eat. You don't like to stay at the crib and like watch. I mean, we can do that. I don't want to go to a club. That's not a date. Are you cool with that on the first date? Like if a man wants to like. No, stay home on the first no, date. No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. I want to go to your house. house. I, I feel like day. I like that. I think a meetup what? is good on the first date. Yo, like, not meet up, house. Then no, no, I'm gonna no, no, take no, no. Not house. Yeah. Yeah. Is that bad? Like, yes. 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 see, yes. I agree with you. Yeah. 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 Like, we don't even gotta smash. What if we just vibe? Like, see, but I wouldn't go to somebody's house on the first date. What? Don't bring me to your crib on the first date. No, it's not. Don't bring me to a club on the first date. All right. Dinner. It's a museum. We gotta go somewhere public. All right. So let me ask y'all this: If a guy flies you out. Do you feel like 
you low key kind of obligated to give him some. He can get it. If I came with you, <laughs> it like I agreed to it, yeah. Like not even to be on no like sad shit, but mm-hmm. you, you all these years, it's your birthday. You have not been able to find love, man. Like, do you want to find love at this point? I don't want to start crying, but it's like it's just unfair because there's times I'm. It's like as soon as I walk into a room, it's like everybody knows who I am. But I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> the music got him. <laughs> Why you play the music? You know, with the music, they couldn't hold it in. He's funny, though. <laughs> Shout out to my band on Sound Effect. Nah, but I mean, with the reality show, like, all right, so that's you looking for love. But how do, how do you feel, you know, about your ex Erica's new love dating show for both genders? Show had nothing to do with me. <laughs> None of my business. Period. That's a good answer. <laughs> Has she always been bisexual? <laughs> this drink is strong. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> but on the on the real note, though, you know, with the show, I really enjoyed the show. I know it was a lot of drama. And I know you you left the show. You were like, yo, I'm out. And you started, you know, your new ventures with Tron. But why did you leave Love & Hip Hop? You know what it is with Love & Hip Hop? I, I just, I don't like that. There's people who watch it, they really like, feel like they know me and that's me. Right, they be serious. It's like, yo, like I be places and people see me and they be like. They get mad at you. Behave yourself, stop. What? Oh. Get the hell out of my face, lady. That's crazy. Like, these people be really, like, holding on to shit that they see, and I'm like, yo. Um. Nah, like, they show stories. They're, like, actors that play a real strong role, and they walk down the street. People be mad at them like they think it's real. Man, we be there filming uh, for hours, and then it's like what people not realizing, we could sit here and film for two hours. Bro, that clip is going to be three minutes long. Right, yeah. You don't know what it's going to go. And we don't know what they're using, what they're chopping it up. They'll take lines and sentences and combine them and make you say something that <laughs> out you of just, context. They do do that. I, I remember that when shit. I first started in New York, I couldn't believe it. Oh my, yo, this is when Big Fish took over the whole Love and Hip Hop franchise. Yo, when we, you know, the green screen where we stand and talk, and um, they, like they had a sentence. They, I forgot what it was that I said, and I was like, yo, I didn't say that. So it was like they mm. they took oh. things from other like times i said it wow and like put it in the whole thing that's crazy they don't do that anymore though yeah because when that happened we was all like oh hell no we're like yo listen you edit it whatever but don't right don't put words in our mouth you know what i'm saying so you from jamaica Mm -hmm. born and raised or you was just born there i'm from new york born brooklyn new york but like as soon as i was born because my mom's it's it's crazy like i don't know like her my um my father they snuck here from jamaica but they citizens now, so y'all can't deport them. <laughs> and, you know, as soon as I was born, um, then I got all my paperwork here that my mother was bringing me to Jamaica. And I was always going back and forth between um, Jamaica and New York. So I was, like, living like that. You know, you, for you my... You like Jamaican girls, like, dating them? Or you never dated a Jamaican girl like that? Yeah, nah, Jama- Jamaican girls are... They're, they're amazing because they're just very... They're strong period like they they know how to be like when they want to be they know how to be great women right like they know how to cater to you and just you know a lot of them could cook they can't i, cook. I, I, I never i, I never met a jamaican woman cooked. who can't cook yeah it's different y'all cook oh hell yeah, yeah. For the right man hell yeah i love you yeah. <laughs> okay i like that it's okay you Do you, so what's your relationship with you know the the dan- the queen of dance hall like spice spice yeah oh spice that's that's the homie spice I'm a brother that man spice is still be cool that's what's up and so she so she like run like when he's Jamaican when you think of a Jamaican female artist like you think of spice like she run it yes yes spice is she's like her 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 run is her runs long she's been doing like she's been hot forever right you know just in, in the dance hall culture. Was it hard, like, growing up, like, in New York, or did you have it easy, or did you have it hard? Or? I, I saw a lot of, like, crazy, violent shit growing up, 
And that's why, like, when people use the excuse of what they saw growing up and say, oh, I'm like this because I saw this growing up, I don't respect it because you're an adult now. You know right from wrong. Right. Yep. Like, I used to see my father do some crazy shit. And like what? Like just a like abusive shit. Like to your like mother? to my mother. You know what I'm saying? Did so you try to get in the middle of it and like fight. I was I was I was too small. Oh, I, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I remember that shit though. You know what I'm saying? So you think watching like abuse growing up affected you as an adult in relationships? I feel like it made me know that I just don't ever want to be like that. Yeah. Right. So. When there's people who, but everyone's different. There's some people who see that and be like, you know what? I saw it growing up, so that's why yeah. I am this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I agree right. with you it, on that. It made me say, you know what? I don't want to be like that. Right. That should be how it is. I don't know why Like people don't break the cycle. You got to break that cycle. Something. So what would you say your biggest struggle or obstacle you ever had to overcome would be? In what part of life? entertainment was at the end of the day and like i'm not even gonna sugarcoat shit like i was with nikki we broke up so it's like her fans and certain people they just wanted it to be like okay they're not together no more F him let him be nothing let him disintegrate let him disappear whatever but nine ten years later Still 10 10 15 tv shows later a lot of music out later doors up later crib like i'm still here you know what right. i'm saying and i'm still in the space and you know some people don't like that they're like damn why are niggas still paying attention to this nigga do you wish like you had a kept your relationship with nikki a secret do i wish i kept it you said yeah like where no one would even have known like if y'all just like you said you started out just as her hype man, if you just had that image of like her manager and never exposed that, hey, we're together publicly. Yeah, but like even nobody knew until after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I was about to say it was probably like normal. So it was like <laughs> it was like second nature. It was like we were so used to just being private about everything. It's like Did that. she wanna keep your relationship private while y'all were together? You you gotta think about it. Back then being in a relationship was never the cool thing. Remember there was an era in I music that, yeah. when mm -hmm. everyone was single, but this was married with kids at home, mm -hmm. but, oh, I'm single. So it was just that era. Like, no, now it's like relationships. Now cool, it's like, like relationships are cool. Where's the baby? Relationships like, yeah. is the alley-oop, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're having a baby. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's like now they into all of that personal family shit when it comes to the entertainment. It's like, like, but I, during that era, since it was frowned upon, like there were rules, like you guys, you you couldn't like kiss in person or like show affection. Hell no, that wasn't even a thought. Interesting. And was that wow. by you, like just you knowing the industry and marketing, or was it more it, it, her choice? Like, hey, I don't want. Nah, you to we kiss we me we just knew. It's like we just knew, like you know what I'm saying, like. Got to just keep this shit low. That's better than like just pretending. I don't like all that loud shit. It's sometimes like sometimes when people ain't in your business, it can be you know what I mean. Sometimes it can be better. Because, you know, people sometimes, hate. all the time, bro. Right. Son, like yo, anything that I get that I'm like, if I'm locking in with somebody, bro, I don't want no one to know, know nothing, bro. Because it's just it now, up. yo, people are just they'll DM so or hate, envious, a DM, just just a whole bunch of weird shit. Mm -hmm. That's true, like. If you don't tell it, like, if you don't, like, when I met a girl, I really, like, I ain't really want no one to know, because it's like, I know she, girls want to, y'all want to be posted, and we want to post you, but it's like, once we post, everybody going to slide in the DM, everybody going to go crazy. Let me, let me, let me tell you, if, 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 if I'm talking to a girl, I'm not even following her on Instagram. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, so if you, on, see, if you see me following someone, <laughs> that means there's that. absolutely nothing going on. Wow. Wait, what's it's, what? What's the logic behind that? I'm confused. What do you mean? I'm saying because I just don't want no attachment. No one needs to even know we know each other. So you're not posting her for how long? Ever. Damn. Well, I guess he. I guess as a business page, I guess you can't. Because everybody gonna be like, "Who is that?" Yeah, Who's yeah then like it's that? gonna be all on the blogs. And yeah, like on a serious note, what advice would you give to young people with dreams of coming up in the game and you know being in the industry, being on TV, being an artist? Um, 
I would really say you really got to like put God first. Amen. And really, like I know people say that. You know what, like something that really gets on my nerves. Like I was watching the BT Awards mm -hmm. and I'm looking at how much people win awards and I'm like, yo, why isn't the first thing you say, I want to give God. praises and thanks to God. Right. They're going up there stuttering i know you're nervous i know it's a lot because i've been on that stage and when right. you stand and you looking it looks insane you. but bro it's like once you say thank you to god everything else is gonna flow right. so it's like i just don't be understanding people when they don't like just give thanks to that mm -hmm. because we really like you gotta really give thanks and just be grateful because it's all because of him <laughs> yo there's really people who were awake yesterday had a great day and today didn't wake up right like, it's people that did not wake up last night. Yo, one of my people, this nigga Young, was playing basketball in Brooklyn, in Coney Island. It happened last week. Imagine you just like, all right, cool, I'm going to go play basketball. You playing basketball with your friends. He gets fouled, has a heart attack, and dies. Damn. So what would you, what advice would you give to someone that's thinking about giving up? Yo. Because we all been there. Let me tell you something, and because I've definitely been at the space where, yo, I'm gonna be so transparent. You got I look right when me and Nikki first broke up, and she got with Meek, and they were like the biggest in the world, and we was all beefing and shit. You got to think about it. I had two of the biggest people in the world like against me, so that made everybody be against me. Right, the whole and industry. Yeah, so it was like nobody wanted to be next to me. Nobody wanted to like work with me or none of that shit. So it just made everything hard and I was like that shit was like that was that was a dark time for me. You know what I'm saying? That's like that shit really affected you cuz it's like that was the Yeah, story. but then when you really think about it, um I was I, I was I was uh, reading up on these um like these monks and just how, how they live their lives. And with anything, no matter how hard it is, it's like their thing is this too shall pass and nothing lasts forever. So no matter how hard something is in the moment, like, yo, it's, it's going to pass. I lost my uncle. My uncle was, they home invaded his crib and, 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 and killed him. This is when I was living in L.A. This is what made me leave. This is what made me move out you of L.A. You get crazy in L.A. Yeah, so when that happened, that was like the, I was that that was like the worst time of my life, and it was like I just got on TV and everything was happening so good for me, and then it was like when that happened, I just was like, that was like a tough tough pill to swallow, and I'm like, damn. Damn, sorry that happened to you. And then it's like when you look back at it, yeah, it sucks, but I'm still you know, I was able to get through that. Right. So like being in the public eye. And, you know, reaching this level of success that you have, like, do you feel paranoid? Like, you got to watch it? Because you, you can't even just, like, go to the store without bro, people recognizing you. You have to watch your back I'm, and paranoid and move all. Because the way he moves, like, I see is, like, he moves very strategically like the president, man. He rolled in here 20 deep, like. Got to. Like, bro, like, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm so paranoid. And it's like, it just takes one horrible experience to happen you know what i'm saying and it, like i used to just wear a whole bunch of jewelry and never think nothing of it and then um when i was living in new york um these dudes they put a tracking device on my car damn and um they was following me for two weeks and i didn't know the tracking device wow, was on my car two weeks then i, yeah. I got home two o'clock in the morning i never it was april 1st 2018 got home two o'clock in the morning and these two dudes just hopped out on me with guns like damn. yo Having a gun put in your face, it's different. if you've never experienced that shit, you've got to thank God every day you've never experienced that. Yo, imagine being in a garage, nobody else is there, and you see two guys with their faces covered up with guns put in your face. That shit is the- a lot of times they do shoot. It's like your life can flash before your eyes. Like, this could be it. People will kill you over a thousand, over $500, over $100. Like, that's the scary part. And- a day, I don't, yo, a day don't go by, I don't think about that shit. Right. Like, I think about that shit, like, it's about to be five, six years, bro. A day don't go by, I don't think about that shit. So, it just has me, like, just super on my toes and just, like, you know, extra precautious and just, just like what you said, strategic with how I move, because it's, it's, it's not a game out here, you know? I'm, I'm not invincible, but... 
for you by yourself? Like it was literally. It was me and my chef. And I I remember seeing like clips of you just rolling around. Like you, I remember one clip that went viral. You were walking into a club or somewhere and you had like bodyguards with like AKs and like army looking bodyguards like everywhere. I'm like, man, this looked like some Afghanistan. No, but that's, (laughs) I went to Detroit and people just was like, yo, be careful out there. Yeah, They was like, be careful out there or whatever. And, they had me in. It was like a hood pool party in, in the backyard of somebody's oh, crib. Pool party joint. Oh shit! You like? Because <laughs> it's like sometimes when I get booked, I don't even know where I'm going. You don't know. I get yeah. There, you show up and like, I get there and I'm like, damn, it was somebody's backyard. But that shit was. But that's wild. She had to be lit. Too. You got good memory. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, you ain't always have it easy, man. I remember uh, I was watching a, a a viral story of you when you were talking about your relationship with Sean Kingston. And you revealed that Sean Kingston actually, back in the day, he actually helped take care of you at one point mm-hmm. uh, back in 2017. And you actually lived with him for two years. Yeah. Yep. What was that? 2016, 15. Um, What's your relationship with him now? Nah, man. We, I was just talking to him yesterday. That's, that's my brother still. Um, How you feel about all that drama shit, man? His name been in the news about all that jury stuff. And his mom got arrested, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah. How you feel about all that? I'm saying I, I was like as soon as it like when it happened I was you know I was with his mother I mm-hmm. went to the crib when they got out and all that and just oh like, so you, you know, was with her when they got out and everything yeah yeah oh like, wow yeah I went so, to the house I was with him it wasn't really it wasn't really seeing nobody but we like family so you know I just went and just you know making sure you know I'm showing I care and all that because they were there for me at a low point in my life you know what I'm saying like I thought I had an I thought. I think I had like 150, 200,000. I'm like, oh, this money about to last me for a long time. Right. And that money, money ran out, and I'm like, damn, what the hell am I about to do? And that's how I ended 100,000 can go quick, man. That's how I ended up living with Sean. Yeah, because my bills, my overhead was crazy. So right, I'm, yeah. People don't understand, man, lifestyle, you know, especially when you have so many people around, it can get expensive, man. I've seen people blow millions in a summer. Yeah, I, 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 learned my, I learned my lesson with that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like now it's like I pay for things that are, like, important when it comes to, like... You strategic with it. Yeah, like my number one thing is security. So how much money you think you've blown, like, that wasted, like, on your whole career? You've been in the game a long time. How much you think you just... That's wasted? crazy. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> I feel like you at least blew, like, a mil, at least. Oh, definitely a mil. Like, like, threefold. Yeah, I would say there's the some stuff. Lamborghini stu- ring, boy, that boy he ain't right there. You messing the camera up. You got a you got a Lambo Lamborghini, right? Yeah, that was that loud shit I had heard. That was yeah, loud- <laughs> <laughs> I, missed it. I like that joint. Though. That joint hard. Probably like three, three. That's but a it's a, it's a learning experience though. Yeah. Then it's like you realize, hey. I'll never do that shit again. Like I went to a freaking motorcycle dealership and they had this motorcycle I wanted and I liked all the colors and I bought every single color. I bought Damn. four colors of this bike. I was cars. That's crazy. It's ignorant. But it's like something you gotta go through when you first, you first start. Like bag, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Making some bread. How much do you think you spent on Nikki? <laughs> I don't know. That's that's a no one's ever asked me that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, how much you think you blew? Like, like on everything, like gifts. I mean, I don't know. Like you fir- first, before. first of all, first of all, <laughs> probably always working. How do you? Yeah, yeah like it, it wasn't. It was chill. She's the one making freaking M's and M's and right, M's right, and yeah. So it's like what? Better question. I know she probably spent that bag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying it was always it was more of like a like a partnership vibe kind of like you know what I'm saying it was like oh hey I'm nah you know what I'm saying it just was always like a it was like a family thing you know what I'm saying right you know when you're just so locked in with someone that it's like starts to feel like family it was like you know right like that I feel wow. like Safari bougie like he want to go to five star restaurant nah, nah, I'm, 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 listen, I ain't gonna I'm, see him at cheesecake yeah, or waffle house I ain't gonna so I'm bad. very what's wrong with waffle house? I'm bougie like with waffle like waffle my house. restaurants so I, you don't I, go to no like nothing under. Yeah, I got. I ain't. I like the. I like the best like places to eat. I like the little 
the 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 gems. I rock with like a gem that's like a classic spot that they consider as a hole in the wall, but it's a classic spot. But I'm I, I'm not gonna be in like Applebee's and oh, yeah. Red Lobster two for twenty. Yeah, yeah. Y'all Olive ain't never Garden. had that two for twenty at Applebee's. <laughs> I, I used I used to love it. <laughs> right. I don't like Applebee's. I ain't gonna lie. I like Cheesecake Factory. I like Cheesecake. I'm not gonna lie to you. The food is actually really good. I went to Cheesecake Factory. I don't fuck with Applebee's, but the cheesecake yeah, no, is good. I'm about to say, cheesecake Factory. Is good. My se- my security paid for my food that meal. I remember it. Oh shit, that's what's Aww. up. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say too. Uh, if a girl like if she insists on paying for you, even though you know you got it like that, like would you feel uh, less masculine about? Hell that? no. Oh, okay. No, take turns. <laughs> yeah, you can, what you mean? Uh, you if he if she pay for his food. Like no, like if she insisted on always like paying for everything, always like like she yeah, where she at? I'll take that. Mean, that that mean <laughs> that means she's planting a seed and she's smart. Yeah, yeah, she's she, trying to. She, yeah, because if a girl was to do that for me, I'd be like, you would get suspicious. Like, hold on, what you? Nah, what I'd be, like, I'd be like, all right, cool. I'm gonna do something fire for you. Recently, Nicki Minaj's little sister came on the podcast for an interview, Ming Lee, and. She was talking about her relationship with Nikki. What was life like for Amin growing up? It was kind of hard. And I used to be bullied a lot for it because people used to say like, oh, if this person was your sister, why did she do this for you? Why did she do that for you? And it's like, at a young age, it's like, you don't know how to answer questions like those. I never needed her to help me get to my Mm -hmm. goal. I just needed her to see that I can do it and she can be proud of me without Mm -hmm. having to think that I needed to have an easy way to get to the top. Is that important to you to feel that sense of independence to do it yourself it really is important to me i used to have this urge of just trying to like impress my sister i'm not gonna lie i always had this urge to impress her first of all i feel old as hell (laughs) (laughs) like the last time i saw ming was wow like she was really like she was small so to know that that's her now, like, grown and talking, and it's just crazy. It's crazy. But do you feel like what she was saying, like, meant, like, Nicki Minaj wasn't there for her growing up? When you're just at that level of life in being successful, you make sacrifices. Mm-hmm. And one of the sacrifices is being away from family, mm-hmm. people you care about. And it's just, it just comes with the game. Like people getting all this money and all this fame, you it's gonna come with something, mm-hmm. and it, it's something that you you lose, and that's normalcy, and just communicating and just being around people. Like all of that shit goes out the out the window right. when it's at that level. Like that's that's a different type of level right. to the point of you in London and we leave in hotels and you got to get a stunt double to yeah. pretend to leave <laughs> right, because right. it's just that crazy outside. You know what I'm saying? Right, and What's crazy is she has a star quality to her. Some something something about her is like it's just is very in, no matter who she's related to. She right. just she just has like a, a a raw interesting thing about her. Like the way she talks is like she just like I can see it's, that. It's it's it's, it's something that. there. Right. And she had got mad. She came on and she had got mad at Jason Lee and said she wanted him to acknowledge her name and wanted him to. Yeah, like, but you know that. But, but I, I like just to clear the record. I don't think Jason Lee really did. He was just doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't trying to throw shade on her. I understand yeah, her wanting to get her not. name out there because it's like you, Nikki's sister, and you want some recognition. But I don't think Jason Lee did anything like trying to make uh, her. You, you know, but but you him, you gotta you gotta like yeah. just really realize. Okay, you're young and you're new and you're stepping into this light. And you're attached to one of the biggest stars of all time. Yeah, biggest female, you, female rapper, female rapper of all time. There's no going around it. Yeah. Right. It's something that you gotta go through until you're not labeled that anymore. You know how long it took before people knew my name? Right. People didn't know people didn't know my name. Right. They was like, Oh yeah, that's just an ex ex boyfriend. Like right. my real name is Safari. People think Safari is my stage name oh, that's or your real tag name. name. Yeah, that's it's my real name. name. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. My real name is Safari. So it's like it took a long time for people to know. Oh, that's Safari. 
Right. So it's just and that's why it's called making a name for yourself. Like you literally got to make that shit. Yeah, it's not like all right, cool. You, nah, and people like to people want to poke fun at you. People like to make things hard for people, no matter guy, girl, your age. They don't care. Like people, especially black people, they want to so, see you sweat. Right. Do you feel like you <laughs> slept on? Like you underrated? Slept on, underrated. Because you know, even hated. when 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 Charlemagne was talking about. Ming Lee, he asked them, how good is Ming Lee's rapping from one to Safari? He used you as the maximum you want, you want to know, level of rapping. Yeah, you know what? Char look, Charlemagne. Charlemagne is, and he's a cancer. Oh, he is? Oh, yeah. So, so he like Char you. <laughs> Charlemagne's a cancer, and, and Charlemagne, he just, he, he doesn't want to admit how good I am and how impressed he is by me because it just wouldn't go with his personality. Mm. He could never say, you know what, world, I don't really think Safari's whack. Safari's incredible. Uh, it, it, no, I wouldn't say he's hating. I just would say he doesn't want to admit the truth. He doesn't want to admit that he has been in the company of one of the goats and it just doesn't, it just doesn't go with his his aura right of like of, of just shitting on everything that comes across you know what i'm saying so what's the longest you ever been without having mm, i ain't gonna lie i'd be going on some breaks like how long uh probably like i feel like the longest i ever did was maybe he said two weeks like, in the back no nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like, it like two years Nah, oh, hell no. Nah. Well, what? Two years? Two years. What did we miss? You remember that. All right, so hold on. You would remember that. Hold on. So what was behind this hiatus, man? You really went two years? Like, what made you? Nah, I just, you know, I wanted to open up my third eye. Like, I just really was trying to. <laughs> I can't just believe that. I don't believe that. See, um, you know, different side of life. <laughs> why niggas laughing in my back? Yo, what's up? Yo, why about my security act like he be in my room, yo? I feel I, like I need to be interviewing yo. your security. He know all the secrets. Yo, all the everybody everybody know all the dirt. Yo, everybody who meet my security, they're like, oh, I bet you know everything. Yeah, he know everything. Yo, one time I had him because he be having, he's like a firearms instructor. Mm -hmm. Shout out Big Jenna. General come over Golden here, man. Protection. Come over here, bro. Let's yeah, come. You know what? Yeah. He a scary nigga when come I seen him on the elevator. I don't, I don't feel sick. I safe. tried to dap him up, man. He ain't really want to dap me. Yeah. Yeah. He don't know nobody, man. <laughs> nah, so... One time, like, come here, um, scoot down so we can see you. I want right. to see him on the camera. Like, what up, gang? Yeah. What up, big dog? Yeah, no, we he got the gloves on, too. He ready to knock somebody out. He got bodies. I don't know if y'all saw, it was a Rick Ross situation. They were playing, Yo. actually, a Kendrick Lamar record, and I guess some OVO oh, fans wow. <laughs> got upset, and, you know, they, they tried to approach Rick Ross. Do you feel like he had inadequate security in Canada? I hate seeing shit like that because, you know, I experienced shit like that of just not moving right. And I, I was very, um, I was just very surprised to see like, you know, he was in Canada and, you know, it, it didn't look like, you know, he had a lot of people with him. Yeah, I don't think he had that many because like, it was the whole city out there. That's like, yeah. And then even playing the song, it's like, that's kind of playing with fire out there and I was in the gym earlier with my security and like he was talking about it and he was like, yo, if, if that, listen, if that was me, I'm grabbing one person and I'm not stopping. Like, y'all going <laughs> to do whatever y'all going to do behind, but I'm not stopping. But one of y'all is going to feel some pressure. Right. So, um, I can't believe it. I, t today was a crazy day. I woke up. They sending me that. They sending me Ray J. Yeah, it was and, mad fights like, last night. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell happened? Yo, I, wo I woke up. It was like eight in the morning. I called Ray. I said, Yo, Ray, what the hell happened last night? And he was, he was turned. So big Tron. And then I was reading comments. A lot of things that people are saying in the comments is that Drake can't come to Miami now. Do you think that's true, or you think that's cap? <laughs> the way Drake would move coming here. Even if they wanted to do something, like he's not gonna come here light, like that. He, 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 he moves like the president, right? So it's like even he if, does have some crazy. So security, it's like, right? yeah, but it's not just not even outside of the security. There's a the security you see, mm -hmm. but then there's the detail. He even got details, like the detail, like the the guys who are outside who are there before. 
you know, he gets there and, and, and that type of like, it's not like, okay, I'm walking and I got two bodyguards. Nah, like. And it ain't just about big guys too. Yeah. Cause that's what a lot of people say, like where in the comments, like, you know, it's not just about size because sometimes you can be small. And matter of fact, shout out to Frank, man. Can we get Frank over here? He does the executive protection for me in the We and Miami podcast. Now, this guy, he might not be the biggest guy in the world, but this is a very dangerous. Come over here. Look at that 17. Right we got him. He tooled up right here. Look, we got the clips. What up, boy? Get up. Let me see him in the camera. I can't see him. What up, gang? I don't even want to be. So, quick, quick question while we got both of y'all here. If you trying to defend yourself, what's the best place to hit someone, where should you punch them? Because some people say the nose, the chin. Like, what's the best place to defend yourself? I'm retired law enforcement and prior military. So if I see that you're a threat to my life, you're going to get a few in you. That's the easiest thing for me. Okay, so you don't fight. You just shoot. Okay, so he's yeah. <laughs> just too old for that. He's <laughs> saying, look, I'm just going to bust a clip. Okay. <laughs> He's on the same time. I know he. I know he's like, right. yeah. Now, now, what about you, man? Like, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely second to what he said. But honestly, if it's something quick and personal, open fist straight to the face. It's Wait, open fist? Yeah. Straight up. Like, what you mean? Like. Yeah, so I'll just rock your whole. Like, mush it up? Yeah. But like, not so that, that actually does more than ball the fist? Yeah. That's unexpected yeah. if you really yeah, think yeah. about it. Because once man, that happens. That's different. It's like. This like just so it's just you gotta get some other shit after that. Well, well you think about it like Asians, like when they be fighting, they be slapping and shit. Cause getting slapped actually hurts more than getting punched. <laughs> you what? Have you, you seen them on the doing? TV that be yeah, slapping like contests? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. Hey, well, round of applause for them, man. Round of applause for them. GGP. I just want to say, Safari, I really appreciate you coming on the show, man. It means so much. You know, he's such a Big Humble, down to earth brother. Like, I remember when I first met him before he ever knew me. Um, he was just real cool, man. Just real humble guy, man. Super lit guy. Like, he's approachable. Like, he's always nice to his fans. I've seen fans run up. He always take pictures with everybody. Like, he, he showed mad love. So, I really respect you for that. And I respect you for everything you've done in the industry because a lot of people don't know all the stuff that you've done behind the scenes, too. Like, you've actually helped put people on you've done so much with like in the studios with people i made plays to like get some people who weren't out there yet all the way fully like super lit right something that i like that i th that i did that like no one even knows like like anything about it but it was just at a time like you know when that chicago and that and that drill music and all of that shit was just like Everybody was copying their vibe. There was right. this there was this song called Kill Shit. It was um this is when they used to call him Lil Herb and um Bibby. I used to listen to that shit all the time. And I was like, yo, I wanna do something like that that's on some mainstream shit. Right. And I tried to find a way to get in contact with him. This is when Instagram was still new. I didn't really know how to do it. Right. And um, I got in contact with him, G Herbo. And then um, niggas came out and then they did Chirac. I just think that just was like one of the illest fly shits right, yeah, ever because yeah. no one, like he wasn't mainstream yet. You helped like put him on. I'm saying he was, he was ill, but I'm just saying I just set up a super duper alley-oop dope play to like one of the you know, a big nah, viral yeah, one play can that, mean everything. Ex 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 this thing, ex you know how shit can go. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you could pick one female rap feature on the new single, who would you choose out of all the female rappers? Damn, who's the hottest female outright account? And Sexy Red, right? Honestly, I guess. Shout out to Sexy Red. Y'all saw where I gave her a lap dance on the show? I gave her a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me. She dared me. It was a card game. Don't judge me. Yeah, she be lit. <laughs> yeah, I love. I love Glorilla. Oh, I love. Like, I like, I I love like yo, when Glorilla first dropped, I said I was like, yo, Glorilla about to be that voice. She gonna be here. <laughs> what about Spice? Would you put Spice on it? Oh, I, I wouldn't put Spice on that. Cardi's fire too. I love Cardi. <laughs> um, what about Megan? I was gonna say. You think maybe if you if you did do a feature with Cardi, that might be a little controversial though. It definitely, it definitely would. But like outside all of that, though, like she's Cardi, she's she's right. she's hot when she do a feature. 
shit goes crazy. So, right. you know what I'm saying? You feel like a lot of people would probably hate on that, though? Of course they would. <laughs> facts, <laughs> facts. So what's next for you, man? I know you got your music. You got your reality show. And I know you're an entrepreneur. You got your hands in all kind of stuff. Do y'all have health insurance? <laughs> Yeah. Raise your hand yeah. if you got health insurance. Yeah, I said I have health insurance. Yeah, I got health you have you have, mm-hmm. you don't have health insurance. That shit costs like crazy. I got free yeah. health insurance. Okay, okay. <laughs> how about now. how about you have health insurance before this interview is over? Um. Oh look, Safari yeah. just like, <laughs> hooked you up now. Sure, boom. I'm down. You're like boom, that's it. I'll make sure you got health insurance. You know what I'm saying before this over. So wait, uh, you got a health insurance company? <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah. Like, so like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, pretty much. Um. Teamed up with my boy, Whitey, um, and we we doing this health insurance thing. You know the health insurance game. It's a it's a big game. Is and it straight health insurance or life insurance too, or more just we, while we, you're we, alive? We we have a couple of agents who do like you know life insurance, but the main focus is health insurance. And there's a lot of people out there who do not health in the, who don't have health insurance, and That's true. you know they don't realize that they're eligible for health insurance. At like zero cost. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got health insurance and my health insurance ain't no crazy number. So how much? Like how much does health insurance cost? My health insurance is a buck forty a month. That's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's cheap. You know, what it I'm costs saying? more than that to just go to a doctor visit. That's what I'm yeah, 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 exactly. You are gonna spend more money, like yeah, like one. Especially time, don't let you get sick and have to go to the hospital. That yeah, bill no, gonna be that's crazy. Like, just don't go to the hospital. Yeah, like one time <laughs> I went to the um I went to the meat doctor. Because my joint, it was like, like I be wearing these hoochie daddy shorts. Wait, what? And, and, and one time, like, my joint, it was like, th- like just bulging and like swelling out. And I went to the doctor, and I'm <laughs> like, yo, crazy. I'm over here thinking can you, about his knee. <laughs> can you help me out with this? Hey, yo, before we get out of here, round of applause to Safari. Done, done. Hot guy, yes, them want some. This one can't done. All I see is me. Never the pre we don't abandon. Stop, drop and roll. I make us see the outside of our soul.